it's an anthropological fact that everybody, even people who don't read poems, have poetry in their heads, beginning with a nursery rhyme. When they go to church, most of them know a prayer. And I ask you, what is a prayer? It is not prose, it is poetry. I've been beating my head all day long on the same six lines, snapped off and whittled to nothing, like the nub of a pencil, chewed up and smoothed over, yellow paint flecking my teeth. She has a, she has a voice of a poet. That is, for me, absolutely clear. And the sun comes up. To find a tone of voice which is fresh is not easy. It's wonderful if you detect this sort of potential in somebody. Ex Norwegian, I like that very much. Because there is some lightness in, right. in this. It lifts you as a reader. And this type of thing is, is uh, for me, very seductive. I've been wanting to write about my family for a long time, and I have started and stopped and started and stopped over and over again. This mentoring relationship has really kind of been the nudge that says, yes, you do want to do that, and you can, and it's safe, and here's someone who's willing to look at it and to give you input as an artist. You could make it all in her voice. Have you thought about that? That's what I, yeah, I envision like a very discreet set of concerns. It's a game, of course, and it's not a teacher-pupil relationship, not at all. It's not a hierarchical thing. It's a conversation. Real gift as a poet.